on a beautiful Tuesday night. We are live here for a new week of baseball. Tonight, the first game of six between the Wichita Wind Surge and the San Antonio Missions. We're back here with the game's first pitch coming up right after our proud announcer of Taco Bell. Efrain Contreras will get the start on the hill for San Antonio. He's a right-hander. 5'10", 210 pounds, and age 23. As we get started for this first homestand in the month of June. Deshaun Kersey Jr. will step up for Wichita as we are about ready to go on this Taco Night Tuesday. Well, three words, let's play ball. And the first pitch is high fly in the air by the third baseman. Near done as he will record the first out here in the top half of the first inning for Wichita. Well, we'll give you the starting lineups and so far my partner Bob is in the booth. Hey, Bob. Yay, what is up, Jonathan? So, I got to say, Wichita, they are pretty much 21 and 29. San Antonio is 26 and 23. They're tied foot race against Midland. Yes, and I got to say that San Antonio needs to get in here. And pretty much, they need to win this one in order to take the first place position. Oh. And that will put Midland down in the second place. Will Holland will step in. One away, nobody on here in the top of the first for Wichita. That's right there. Fernandez will get it. As that will be a line out. And got to say, Fernandez was head on heels. But right there, he gets that one to claim the second out. Aaron Sabato coming in as he's the third for Wichita. And he's going to hit that one. High fly in the air. And Fernandez will go. And he will not get that one. That will go foul. We get our ball clubs tonight. Amarillo at Midland. Wichita at San Antonio. Frisco at Corpus Christi. Northwest Arkansas at Springfield. And Arkansas at Tulsa. Everybody playing tonight. And so far, it's going pretty good. High fly up in the air as that will go to the last out to Joshua Mears. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. As we go bottom half of the first inning, it is no score through the top half. Wichita will have Louis Varland, a right-hander. And what do we know, Bob? Well, this guy on the Wichita defense, he has a whip of 1.23 with the ERA of 381. That is good. So far, record stats is 1 and 2. He's, he's doing pretty good for the Minnesota Twins. And got to say, he's really looking forward to this ball game. And the first one of 2023 against the two ball clubs. Well, the center fielder, Tim Lopes, coming in as he strides in, takes a coach strike, gets nothing and one. Got to say, we had rain around the area, but the thunderstorm clouds are headed away from San Antonio. At least most of the activity will stay north of the Alamo City. It is a good night for baseball, so don't worry. There is a lot going on on this homestand. One ball, two strikes to Tim Lopes. On a taco night Tuesday like this, we are giving everybody in attendance coupons for HEB to make you some scrumptious tacos on our Taco Tuesday. Anyway, if the missions ground into a double play against Wichita here tonight, Everybody in attendance will get a coupon for two free tacos courtesy of our friends. Proud sponsor of Taco Bell. Two balls, two strikes. And that's going to be high fly in the air. The right fielder will make the play. And he'll get the first out recorded here in the bottom half of the mission's first inning. Well, Bob, I got to say, after losing Sunday's game at Frisco... 
the Rough Riders pretty much had a walk-off home run to wrap up that series last week. Yeah, and I got to say, that 6-4 to four really put a whooping on San Antonio. And as you can see, the Rough Riders, they're down in last place in the Texas League. And boy, look out. That one brushed them off the plate a little bit. One ball, no strikes to the shortstop, Walter Javier. As he also comes in. And that one is right there and inside for a code strike. And it's count now, one ball, one strike. So far, Medlin is in first place. For the meantime, San Antonio trying to claim the first place position. Yes, I got to say with both Medlin and San Antonio, tied at 26 wins apiece of the year. This team really needs to win this one in order to claim the 26th. Amarillo needs to beat Midland, and that will put the missions up to the first place position here in the Texas League South. My thoughts exactly, Bob. They really need to come in here and win one after losing almost four and two against the Frisco Rough Riders. That one is high flying in the air. Up in right center is the center fielder. He'll make the play. That ends the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors for the missions. As we played one on this Tuesday night, it is no score as we head to the top of the Wichita second. Well, stepping in for Wichita is Andrew Bechtoad. As he comes in, and he swings and misses at the initial offering for a code strike. It's nothing and one. Wichita in their road grace. Wichita inscribed on the chest with the Royal Corpus Christi blue. Blue and dark blue. Looks like Corpus Christi. Yeah, it does a little bit on their road grace, but they decommissioned the road grace. Yeah, I got to say the hooks are now a royal blue. Looks like a Rohawk blue for Randolph. Yeah, I got to say pretty good right there on that Air Force base. Well, right there, the right fielder. Joshua Mears will run it down, and that will be out number one here in the top half of the Wichita second. Tied ball game as the Frisco Rough Riders and Corpus Christi Hooks tied at one. And so far they are doing pretty good as they go to the bottom half of the third inning. There at the beautiful ballpark on the beach. That is that is Bayfront Park there in Corpus Christi, Texas. Anthony Prado coming in. And he's going to hit one to Joshua. Or, <laughs> sorry, Josh there in right field. He'll hit one to to Merrill as he will get that one for out number two. What's wrong? What's the matter with you, John? Have you been daydreaming this whole time? Well, you think I've been daydreaming, but anyway, I think I have. Here is Yuner Severino, or Severino is his name. Right there is Fernandez will have that one. And that will be for a code strike, nothing and one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. And that one is going to be blistered, high fly in the air. And boy, that's going to hit the base of the wall. And that's going to get him two, maybe even three. And that's going to be a leadoff triple right there. Boy, two outs and a triple. And Wichita has their first run waiting just 90 feet away. Boy, and I got to say, that is a real nail biter right there. Matt Walner coming in. 
And here's the pitch, high fly in the air. Right fielder Joshua Mears coming right there as he will look at it. And that is a code strike, nothing and one. No balls, one strike in the pitch. And that one right there is inside by Ty Krause. That's called for strike two. I will say uh, Ty Krause will be moving up to double A Frisco after tonight. So far, the new umpire will be Jeff Andrews. He will start tomorrow. Ball one ball, two strikes, and the count now, one and two. I got to say, for Ty Krause, he's been here in double A San Antonio for three and a half seasons. So we wish Ty Krause on the best of luck up in Frisco, Texas. Here's a one, two. And right there, that will do, as that will be the out. And no runs on a hit, no wears. A man stranded off at third as we head for the bottom half of two. It is no score in this one. Well, Juan Fernandez coming in as we start the missions. Home half of two here this evening. Now, I will say that Ty Krause, he will be getting on the bus or a car ride, whatever it is, but he will head to Corpus Christi. And so far, he will be home plate umpiring there until they get ready to head home. Frisco, after their series against Corpus Christi, they'll head home and take on the Springfield Cardinals and gotta say that's gonna be a pretty good series so that'll be hit to the shortstop zip line it right to first and there is one away so final game final night for our great home plate umpire Ty Krause gotta say we will miss you dearly Head to Corpus Christi and never forget that we will miss you, boy. And that's going to be line drive up the center, and that's going to get through for the base hit. Well, Jeff Andrews, he will be the new starter tomorrow night for the home plate umpire position. And so far, it's going to be pretty good. We'll welcome him into the Texas League umpires. And that's going to be Grant Little, and that's going to get there. Line drive up to right field. That's going to get through for a base hit. And that's going to put 2-1 in scoring position. Second and third, one away. Boy, and that first baseman... For Wichita, he missed the baseball. Yeah, that was a pretty good over the head of that first baseman. He really got a good whiff of that one as that went right by him. It sure did. Jackson Merrill coming in as he takes a ball outside in the count 1-0. and Merrill, he averages a 315 on opposition of a 615. He's had a couple home runs. Through the time up in Frisco. Here's a 1-0. Outside, up high, and the count now 2-0. We're starting to see a little bit more of the clouds on this side of town, and that's going to be high flying in the air, and they're going to give a chase. One run scores, two run score, and that's going to be a two-run double, and that will be a courtesy friends of Whataburger. And San Antonio cracks the tie, and it is 2-0 missions. On a two-run double, and everybody in tonight will receive a coupon of a double meat cheeseburger with a side of a medium fry or onion ring, courtesy of Whataburger. Now, I did forget to mention that with that free coupon you get also a free 
Dr. Pepper or any drink of your choice on that coupon. Coupon is good to the end of the year, so that's pretty awesome. High and outside, one ball, one strike to Albert Fabian, the left fielder. Got a few clouds from time to time, but evidently the cloud cover will decrease as we go to the latter part of the evening. A few thunderstorms today, but not like yesterday where we had some pretty good torrential rains. Well, right there to center, and that will be for out number two. So the runner still holding on at second base. As that will bring up the nine batter, Michael Cantu. Cantu coming in, and the pitch. That one is outside, and the count now 1-0. Corpus Christi, after their series at home, they head to Arkansas. San Antonio heads to Amarillo. I think that's where they're at. Well, don't jump to conclusions, John. Well, I could be right about that. So right there, that will be line drive to second, and that will do. A two-run double by Jackson Merrill will give the missions a early head start here in the top bottom half of two. It is San Antonio 2, Wichita nothing. Well, leading off the top of the third for the wind surge, Alex Isoloa. Boy, he's got a weird name, doesn't he? Yeah. I-S-O-L-A. Isola. And right there and inside, we are underway of the top half of the Wichita third inning. No balls, one strike to Isola. The pitch. That one high fly in the air. Joshua Mears in pursuit. He makes the play. And he's got it for the first down. So yes, I did forget about Jackson Merrill out there at second base. Boy, I got to apologize for getting that second baseman and right fielder's names just overly confusing. I do apologize to them both. Here is Alaric Solary as he comes in. And that will be hit to Merrill. He'll zip line it right to Juan Fernandez. And that is two up, two down. In the top of the third inning for Wichita. Boy, I gotta say that Wichita keeps grounding out into a one, two, three inning. They get a hit, but they leave a runner stranded off at third. They're in their top half of the second inning with only just two away. And they fail to capitalize by bringing in the game's first run. San Antonio, bottom half of the second on Jackson Merrill. They get two runs on one hit, so that's pretty good. One and one. On that two-run double by Merrill. Well, we go back to the top of the Wichita batting order. That will bring up Deshaun Kersey Jr. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one is chopped foul, and the count now one ball and two strikes. So, yes, I am right that we do go off to Amarillo after this homestand. And I got to say, we will do our level best to make sure that we do good there in the sod poodle country. That one right there, and that will go out of play and foul. So the count now one ball, two strikes. Well, tonight, Taco Tuesday. Tomorrow night is Military Appreciation Night. So far, our Thirsty Thursday. Friday is to be announced on the, how you say, the promotion. Boy, you've really been daydreaming, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're probably right, Bob. I, 
I've been daydreaming ever since the missions were at Frisco. <laughs> well, that's okay. I think there are days where we have long days, and there are days that we just get overly confused. And like earlier, I got uh, Jackson Merrill and Joshua Mears mixed up the right fielder and second baseman's. Here's a pitch. And that's going to get lined foul. So the count now still remains. And one ball and two strikes. We'll go ahead and check our Texas League scores. So far, Northwest Arkansas at Springfield. And boy, the Cardinals, they have a 5 nothing advantage over the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Even in the top of the fourth inning right there as Jackson Merrill will flip to Juan Fernandez and that will do for this top half of the third inning no runs no hits no errors as we go bottom of three here in South Texas and San Antonio you're listening to Mission Space Ball and here on YouTube live 91.1 flash FM the bull well, let's bring up center fielder Tim Lopes as we head to the top of the San Antonio batting order. He's got one ball, no strikes. And that is going to be for a ball in the count now 2-0. Glad that you guys are back with us. As we had an exciting road series up in Frisco, we won 4-2 and two of our last six. And so far, the missions are really looking forward to even getting this series against Wichita route up. Rockhounds and Sod Poodles, the Midland boys there in West Texas, will lead 2-0 over the Amarillo Sod Poodles. And they are the bottom half of the home fifth. They're at good old Franco Park. Wander Javier is coming in as he's got a runner at first after the five pitch walk that one high and outside one ball no strikes Midland went to Corpus Christi for a six game set then the second six games of their road series they went to Arkansas that one is high fly in the air and boy, they give a chase. It is the center fielder up in left center as he had to make a running play for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up the right fielder, Joshua Mears, as he's coming in. And that's going to be right there. Right to third, they will zip line. Right to second, right to first, and get them a double play. And that will end this half inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and a walk inherited. As we now head for the fourth inning, we will take our first commercial break right here in Texas League Baseball at San Antonio and Wichita. And we're back with more right after these commercial messages from our proud boys there at Taco Bell. We're about to be live. Three, two, one. Thank you, Bob. Well, welcome back in to Texas League Baseball, Wichita, Wind Surge, and San Antonio Missions. We are about ready to go to the top half of the fourth inning. And that'll bring in Will Holland. 
three nothing Arkansas there at DCJ Field, Tulsa. Well, the Arkansas Travelers trying to get a win after losing their last game against Midland on Sunday. So far, Midland and Tulsa, they are the first place positions. San Antonio and Arkansas are second place. Corpus Christi and Springfield, they are third place. Amarillo and Wichita, they are fourth place positions. Frisco and Northwest Arkansas down in last place. One ball, no strike to Will Holland. Here's pitch right there and inside. Coach Strike gets one and one. Looking in is Efrain Contreras in the pitch. That one high flying in the air, and that will go out of play and foul. So the count now is one and two. Two nothing San Antonio. Top of the fourth for the Wichita wind surge. The pitch. That one out of play, and it will go foul. Here's a one-two. And right there he gets him. Ty Krause says, I ring you up on the clothesline to dry. And that is for out number one. Got to say, sad to say goodbye after three great years, I will say. Three and a half years. When Ty Krause will be missed dearly by a lot of people. Yes, I got to say, it is hard to say goodbye to a man like him as he goes up to double A Corpus Christi and then he gets to go up to double A Frisco after the six game series. Yeah, it is sad that we are saying goodbye to him. Right there to Jackson Merrill and he'll throw him out at first to Juan Fernandez as that'll be out number two. So that'll bring up Andrew Bechtoad. He's 0 for 1, a line out in the second. We meet the first base umpire, that is Andrew Phillips. Second is Joshua Newton. And third base umpire is... Wait, I'm getting a little bit confused. Who is the third base umpire? Do you know, Bob? Well, I got to say, uh, the third base umpire, well, his name is Donald. Well, does he have a last name? Uh, hold on, I'm looking. His name is his Donald. Donald Pat. His name is Pat? Yeah, it is Donald Pat. The right there as that will be for the out. And Wichita will go down again here in this half inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. As we go to the bottom half of the fourth inning, it is 2-0 San Antonio. Well, that'll bring up the first baseman Juan Fernandez as he takes a coach strike. And the count now is nothing and one. That one will be outside. Down and in. One ball, one strike. Our new umpire will start tomorrow. And so far, the Texas League umpires will make sure that he will feel at home here in San Antonio. Well, heading up for Frisco, Ty Kraus will be missed dearly by a lot of San Antonioans. Krause, he's going to have a new home in Frisco, and so far it's going to be pretty good that a lot of us will get to say goodbye here to him in the booth. Yeah, I got to say, it is sad to say goodbye after three and a half years of being with the San Antonio organization. 
Right there, the catcher for Wichita will have it. Fernandez will go down on a fly out. And that'll bring up the hot corner man, Lucas Dunn. One for one single and a run. Well, if it's 2 nothing for San Antonio, that's a good thing. Because San Antonio can easily win this ball game just the two runs. Well, high fly in the air, and that will be we're out number two. Well, that'll bring up the designated hitter, Grant Little. He doubled during his last time up. And the pitch. And right there, and a cold strike gets nothing and one. And that's going to be high fly in the air. That will get down up in right field as the second baseman goes over and has a little hello how are you to that right fielder oh Jackson Merrill coming in second baseman for the missions and that's going to be right there hit to the second baseman and they'll flip it to first and that will be for the final out here in this half inning no runs, no hits, no errors. Or actually one hit in there with one left. Now we go to the top of the fifth, but first we will take our break. It is San Antonio 2, Wichita nothing. All right, we are about ready to go as we get started for the top half of the fifth for Wichita. The fifth batter, Anthony Prado, coming as we get ready to go. Contreras throws his first pitch. He will miss inside the zone. One ball, no strikes, just shy of the corner. Efrain Contreras has already thrown 39 pitches in his first five innings on the hill for San Antonio. Here's a 1-0 delivery. And right there in the inside for a coach strike, it's 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike to Prado. And that one's inside for a strike. And the count now is 1-2. One ball, two strikes to count. The pitch. And that's going to be hit high in the air. Fernandez will get it. One pitch, one high fly, and one away. In the top of the fifth for Wichita. Now to bring up Yuner Soverino. The pitch. And right there, Krauss will... 
say that he went. And the count now is nothing and one. So Got to say, Jeff Andrews will be our starting home plate umpire tomorrow. So we want to make sure that all of us will feel like he's welcome in. So make sure we welcome him in as we start the game tomorrow. Matt Wallner struck out last time up in the second. He's 0 for 1. Here's a pitch. And right there and inside for a code strike. It is nothing and 1. 45 pitches through his first five and two-third innings. Here's a pitch. And right there and inside for a strike and the count now, nothing and two. And that one's outside at the count, one and two. Well, tonight is our lucky lottery shuffle. And so far, one lucky section tonight will win the lottery tickets. We are pretty much $4.7 million. And right there, that will be it. No runs, no hits, no errors for Wichita. As we now head for the bottom half of the fifth inning, it is 2 nothing missions. Albert Fabian coming in as he's 0 for 1. He flew out last time up in the second inning. Fabian right there at the plate. Takes an inside code strike. Gets nothing and 1. That one is out of play, and it will go foul. Boy, beautiful night for the ball game, right, Bob? I got to say, it is a very beautiful night. Unlike the last couple of nights where we had storms around the area. Boy, and Albert Fabian goes down on strikes, and I will say that he is not happy. Well, nobody is happy when they get struck out and they literally get rung up on the clothesline and they get on that line and they get dried. Yeah, and I will say every fly out, they're up and down on strikes and high flies, this and that. You're not kidding, John. <laughs> yep. Center fielder Tim Lopes. Coming in, and right there and inside for a code strike, it's nothing and one. So this is going to be like a farewell party to our man behind the plate, that is Ty Krause. Got to say, Jeff Andrews, like I said, will start tomorrow. He will be our starter for the home plate position. You know, right there as he will get him, and that is a 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, no errors for San Antonio. As we now head for the top of the six, it is 2-0 San Antonio Missions. Well, we're back here with more Texas League baseball as we have some festivities. And so far... We will be right back with more baseball coming up.
Texas League Baseball Live 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Bob. Well, we welcome you back into Texas League Baseball as we are about ready to start the top half of the Wichita 6th inning. Alex Isola coming up as he's the 8-hole batter and cleanup in position. As he takes one inside for a coach strike, it's nothing and one. And a lot of festivities in this homestand and so far glad everybody is coming out and enjoying the ball game. And hope you come out and see us here at good old industry ballpark. It's pretty good. Yes, I will say that John and me, we really have a good time having fun. Means you're proud announcers. No balls, two strikes to Izola. And the pitch. And that's going to be right there, and it'll go foul. So the count now is nothing and two. Game 58 of the year. I got to say, this is still a long way from even finishing up for the year. And that's going to be right there. Line drive to right field. And now gets through for a base hit. Izola is now on first base as he gets a no-out single. And San Antonio's opportunity goes for naught as a Taco Bell double play gets in the works here. Here is Alaric Solari as he takes in one one code strike, and that's nothing and one. Solari ground out in the third inning. He's 0 for 1. So far, he's got a pretty good average of a 1.67 on the ERA of a 300 on that average. One ball, one strike. Runner at first. Tying run. And that is going to be right there and out of play in the count now. One ball, two strikes. Now, I will say, I'll finish my sentence. The tying run is up at the plate. And that is Solary. Fouls another one off. And the count now, one ball, two strikes. Don't forget, in about 80, 88 days... Love's new series will return for her eighth season. And so far, you don't want to miss the live premieres when they come out. Be really good if you can. All new episodes coming out Friday, September 1st at 7, 6 Central, right here on J. Baker Vlogs, part of Baker J. Studios. Well, right there, Solari will go down on strikes as Contreras will strike him out looking. That'll bring up Deshaun Kersey Jr. as he popped out, ground out 0 for 2 of the night. Still got a chance of a Taco Bell double play, and that one right there and inside for a coach strike gets nothing and one. Oh, and one. The delivery high in the air. And that will be a souvenir to somebody. Remember, we ask everybody to watch for foul balls that may go out of play. Because if you least expect it, you might get hit by one. Or even a bat. My friend, back in the year 2017, was hit by a bat. San Antonio and the... Month of June during that year took on the Midland Rockhounds. And right there, boy, he ring him up to dry too. So Deshaun Kersey Jr. will go down as the second out here in the top half of the sixth inning. Will Holland, he's coming in. He's 0 for 2, strikeout and line out. Boy, and Contreras, he is doing good. Confidence level is high. And that's a good thing. 
Well, Jackson Merrill will flip right to first to Juan Fernandez to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, a man left for Wichita. And we now head for the bottom half of the sixth inning. And it's still a 2 nothing San Antonio lead over the wind surge. Yeah, you know, Wander Javier coming in. He's 0 for 2, strikeout in the line out. Tonight's mission's shortstop. And a pitch. That one high and outside. Boy, howdy, and Krause just called that for strike one. You get a groan from the home crowd, and gotta say, Javier just shaking his head in disbelief. He couldn't believe that he would say that was for a strike. But I'm not no math magician here saying I wish that one would have been called for a ball. But evidently I cannot argue balls and strikes. Nobody can. You know, we've had this rule from Major League Baseball, and it's been in effect since 2021, that anybody who argues balls and strikes was immediately ejected without question. Well, Philip Wellman, former San Antonio Missions manager, who was up, up in AAA, boy, he got ejected pretty much after arguing balls and strikes last year. And so far there was the catcher Chandler Siegel who got in the home plate umpire's face and he said three magic words and pretty much that ejected him. Philip Boylman who has also been ejected was losing it and he was getting his money's worth. Boy howdy. And right there is, that will be safe. The first baseman almost tries to pick off a double play. That'd be for the first out of the inning. Juan Fernandez coming in as he grounded out and popped out 0 for 2 of the ninth. Runner at first, one away. And he swings and a miss at the initial offering. Called for a strike, nothing and one. And that's going to be hit right to short. He'll flip to second. And right there, the first, a double play. And that'll end the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, a man left. As we head for the top of the seventh inning for Wichita. It's still a 2 nothing San Antonio lead over the wind search. We're back with more Texas League baseball as we get ready for the seventh inning right after a break. We're live in three, two, one. Well, we welcome you back to Texas League Baseball as we get ready to start the seventh inning. But before we do, we got new score out there in Midland. And the Amarillo Sod Poodles, boy, they are on the offensive as they have already hit five runs, probably a grand slam and a single. So the Sod Poodles, they will have... 5-2 to two against the Midland Rockhounds. Five runs, five hits, no errors for Midland. 2-5-1 and one as they go into the bottom half of the Midland sixth inning. 
And we're top half of the seventh inning in just a few moments as we give you some more Texas League scores. Corpus Christi leads the Frisco Rough Riders 2-1, to one, top of the sixth inning. Frisco up to bat. So the, for the Arkansas Travelers, it's 5 nothing against the Tulsa Drillers there at DCJ Field. For Springfield in Northwest Arkansas, the Cardinals are up 5 nothing as they end the fifth inning. And it's going up to the top of the sixth for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. They're at the Blue River there in Springfield, Missouri. Well, we're about ready for the top half of the seventh inning. And so far, stepping in is... Aaron Sebado as he will step in. 2 nothing San Antonio over the Wichita wind surge. Going to say it is pretty good. Right there and inside for a cold strike. It is nothing and one. This is Contreras' seventh inning of pitching. And so far his pitch count is up 63. That one high fly in the air. And center is Lopes. He makes a play. And that is for out number one. That's going to bring up Andrew Bechtoad. Strikeout line out 0 for 2. The fourth batter of the night for Wichita. Still a 2 nothing shutout as the Wichita wind surge has literally been struggling through almost... This whole game nearly. No balls, one strike. Missions up to nothing. High fly in the air, and that will go out of play and foul. 59 strikes, seven balls, total 66 for the starter of Frank Contreras. 0 and 2. And again, he fouls it off. Still a no ball, two strike count. Here's the 0 2. And right there, he rings them up to dry on the clothesline. And that is for out number one. Well, that's going to bring in Anthony Prado. He's 0 for 2. Two way, nobody on. And that is going to be out of play. Foul ball, no balls, one strike. Ground out, pop out, 0 for 2. Got to say, Sunday, as we wrap up the series, a six-game set with Wichita, we want to make sure that everybody brings out their four-legged best friends out to the ball game. It's Bark in the Park on that Sunday. So for the weekend, we'll have post-game fireworks for Saturday, and Sunday will definitely be Bark in the Park. So make sure you bring your dogs, and no cats allowed. We don't allow cats out here. Just, just an FYI, dogs go crazy when they actually see a cat. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding, John. High fly in the air. Up in right field is Joshua Mears. He is... He's got it, and that's another one, two, three inning. Well, we go to the seventh inning stretch. It is San Antonio Missions 2, Wichita wind surge, nothing. As we get ready for the bottom half of the seventh, we will take a break for station identification. You're listening to Missions Baseball right here on YouTube Live. 101.9 slash FM the ball. We're back at three, two, one. Thanks, Bob. Well, we're back here as we get ready to begin the bottom half of the seventh inning. And we're going to have a new pitcher on the Hill for Wichita, Jordan Brink, he's 6'0", 200 pounds, and age 30. And so far, he will be called upon to pitch for the Wichita wind surge. The hot corner man, Lucas Dunn, coming in. 
And so far, we're about ready to go. That one is outside. One ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. So we will have our vote. And the winner for the missions on the Gold Glove winner of 2023 is scheduled for Sunday as we will announce our winner. That one is out and foul in the count now. One ball and two strikes. One and two to Lucas Dunn. And that one is right there high and outside and that will get him rung up for strike three. One away here in the bottom half of the home seventh. So that will bring up the designated hitter, Grant Little. Boy, this game is going fast. Usually around this time, it would be pitch black and stadium lights illuminating the field. Yes, I got to say, with a 2 nothing ball game, two runs in the score, and San Antonio really has the advantage of winning their 27th of the season. Yes, that's right, Bob. We are going to talk about that. So far, if Amarillo beats Midland, San Antonio beats Wichita, well, I got to say, that will put the missions up in first place. Seeing Corpus Christi, they beat Frisco. Then I got to say that Corpus Christi will... Probably be in second or third place continuously. Well, it just depends where they go from there tonight with the Rough Riders. Here's Jackson Merrill. One on, one away. Bottom of seven. And that's going to be gloved right there to shortstop. And that's going to be for out number two. Now the left field. Well, that'll bring up the eight-hole batter cleanup position, Albert Fabian. Strike out and fly out 0 for 2. Runner still continuing holding off at first base, two away. And that's going to be right there, and it'll go foul. It's going to be high fly in the air. And that's going to bounce right off of him as that would go right into center for a base hit. So 2-1, two, 2 away in the bottom half of the mission's seventh inning. And that's going to bring in Michael Cantu. Right there and inside for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. Line out in the fifth, he's 0 for 2. We gotta say, Cantu was a catcher just like Winston Sawyer. And yes, we won't ever forget that former San Antonio mission. Up in the San Diego Padres organization. And that's gonna be hit to short. He'll throw him. Right to first, that ends the inning. So no runs, two hits, no errors, two left. As we head for the top of the Wichita eighth inning, it is still a two nothing shutout as San Antonio leads this one two to nothing. So we're back here with more Texas League baseball from our station identification here in South Texas. Stay tuned, top half of the eighth inning for Wichita. About ready to go in just a few short moments. It's time to owe station ID right here for Mission Space Ball.
We're about to be live, John. Yes, thank you, Bob. Uh, give me a countdown, will you? Three, two, one. Well, we're back here in the top of the eighth inning. As here is Yoner Severino. Or Severino. I do apologize on his last name. The sixth batter come up for Wichita in the top of the eighth inning. The pitch. And right there and inside for a cold strike. It's nothing and one. This game going overly quick as it is a 2 nothing shutout. And San Antonio looking to get their 27th of the season as Bob mentioned. Gonna say pretty good as we get going here in this one. Here's the 0-2. And right there, strike three. Boy, he really brings them up to dry. Talking to Ty Kraus. And he really did not like that pitch call right there. He's in disagreement. And he better go back to the bullpen before he gets, you know what, Shanghai to the roof. <laughs> you mean ejected. Yeah, well, duh. What else was I talking about, Bob? Matt Walner, two strikeouts, 0 for 2 of the night. Takes the ball, one in the count now, 1 and 0. Here's the pitch. And that one's inside for a strike. And the count now, 1 and 1. A 77 tonight for Efrain Contreras. And he's leading the charge pretty much with confidence. And. Right there, that will be one ball and two strikes. One and two. And that's going to be line drive, and that's going to get through for left field base hit. So a one-out single continues this top half of the eighth for Wichita. And that'll bring in Alex Sisola. Taco Bell double play gets the missions. Out of this half inning. And Fabian, boy, howdy. Heel, boy, heel. He goes after that ball nearly just a couple of feet from hitting the wall as he'll have two away. Aller Alaric Solary coming in, strikeout, ground out. And it's 0 for 2. His pitch. Right there and inside for a code strike. Gets nothing and one. No balls, one strike. The Solary here tonight. And the pitch. And that one's going to be high and outside, and that will go foul. One more, and it will be another zero on the Wichita scoreboard here in the top of the eighth. And did he go? Nope. Ty Krause says he did not. One ball, two strikes. 10,570. Boy, for a Tuesday night, everybody wants coupons to make that taco. Here's a one and two. And that is outside and foul. As that ball will go out of play. One ball, two strikes to Solary. Here's a pitch. And again, he stays alive. Still holding on to the count now as a ball and two strikes. Here's again. And that's going to be right there. And Merrill will stop it, and he will get him. Boy, what a play. Jackson Merrill to Juan Fernandez, a nuller. One, two, three inning, as that will do. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. We go bottom half of the eighth inning, and it is two nothing. Here is Osiris German. Boy, and he's got a first name like a Destiny 2 player. 
Well, I don't know what Destiny 2 is. Well, Destiny 2 is a shooter's game. And I gotta say, his, there's this one guy by the name of Osiris. That's a pretty good name for a guy. And, boy, you're gonna have to show me how to play that game and stuff. And I'll show it to you next week. How about that? And that's going to be line drive up to center, and they'll get through for a base hit. Bottom half of the eighth inning underway for the San Antonio Missions on this Tuesday night. So far, don't forget that tomorrow evening, we support our military, our police, the people that serve our communities and our country in color. Wearing blue or wearing green, it don't matter what color you wear, but you're serving for a greater cause than what there needs to be. It is Military Appreciation Night, so join us tomorrow as we salute our veterans and those that serve in uniform. One ball, one strike. And don't forget that gates open at 6, 6 p.m. First pitch at 7.05 as we continue our series against the Wichita Wind Surge. Here's the 1-1 one, one. and a swing and a miss. One, Count now is a ball and two strikes to the short stop wander Javier. Here's the pitch and that's gonna be high flying in the air and that will go out of play and foul. Count still remains at one ball two strikes Javier. And that's going to be right there. The second for one. And they relay it. A double play. As that will be a 5-4-3. In that one. That will bring up Joshua Mears. He's 0-3. A line out in the sixth inning. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be line drive right there up in left center. And they'll get through for a two-out single. Continuing onward as this half inning goes. And another batter continues to come up. That is Juan Fernandez. Boy, looking for another, another hit. And that's going to be bounced right behind the... The on-deck circle, or backstop, I will say. Well, Fernandez coming in. He's 0-1 the count. 0 for 3 of the evening. 2 nothing, San Antonio, bottom of the 8th. And that's going to be line drive, and that's going to get through for a base hit. So make that the ninth hit of the night for San Antonio. As they continue a 2 nothing shutout against the Wichita Wind Surge. Here's the hot corner third baseman, Lucas Dunn. Now anyway, I will say the voting will stop on Thursday night. And we do have a election of who's getting the gold glove on Sunday. So make sure you cast your ballots. Time is running out. And that's going to be really good. Right there, as second baseman will throw him out at first, and that will end the inning. So no runs on two hits, no errors to left. As we head for the ninth inning, the mission's up 2 to nothing over the Wichita Wind Surge. We'll be ready to do the top of the ninth as we have our last ever commercial message and our check-in with the radio station. We're back with more Texas League Baseball on this Tuesday night. It's San Antonio Missions 2, Wichita, Wind Surge, nothing.
We are live in three, two, one. Well, thank you, Bob, as we go to the top half of the ninth inning. We are glad that you guys are having a great time, and so far, we are about ready to go as Dawson Kersey Jr. will step in for the Wichita wind surge. Frank Gutierrez, he's at 86 pitches, and so far through the way, he's really held in strong. Tonight, he will be our winning pitcher if they can hold the deficit. Here's the two right there in the count now, 0-2 the count. Yeah, <laughs> do apologize, 0-1 the count, but it goes to 0-2 right there. Here's the 0-2. And that's going to be high fly in the air, and that will go wide of play and foul. And no balls, two strikes to count. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be line drive up to right center. Right there in front of Lopes. As he'll get it back, and the tying run now coming up for the wind search. Well, we are going to have a mound visit. And the manager will come out. And there's going to be a change. As we'll have our first reliever coming in this ball game. Boy, great start from Efrain Contreras. As he went nine and almost two-thirds of the way here tonight. He's going to be our winner if they can hold this lead. Moises Lugo, 6'1", 185 pounds, an age 24 right-hander, will try to shut the door here on this Tuesday night with a victory here at home. Be the 27th victory if San Antonio can beat Wichita. And Midland Amarillo could beat Midland there at Franco Park in West Texas. No balls, one strike runner at first. Nobody out top of the ninth. High fly in the air. In center is the Lopes. He makes the grab and there is one quick out. Double play that will conclude this first of a six game series. That is Wichita's death of trying to score in some runs Aaron Sabato coming in and a pitch right there and inside for a cold strike it's nothing and one we're live tomorrow night at 650 as we get ready to start game two of the six game series against Wichita here's the 0 one and that one is going to be fouled and away in the count now nothing and two well, Ty Krause is headed to Corpus Christi after tonight. And so far, he will join up with the Frisco Rough Riders. Tomorrow, starting home plate umpire Jeff Andrews will be our starter. Here's the 0-2. And that one to Fernandez. And boy, howdy, he just throws it away. Boy, and that's going to be a throwing error. And an E3 on that one. And we're going to have to see what had happened. Throwing error on Juan Fernandez. As now that will be a 2-1 to score. As Wichita will score on an error on E3. Here is Andrew Bechtoad as he comes in and takes one inside for a code strike. It's nothing and one. Strikeout in the seventh. Is 0 for 3 of the night. Here's the 0 1. And down and in for a code strike. It's nothing and two. Missions looking to strand that runner there as second after that Juan Fernandez error. Right there, Lopes will make the play. 
And he's got it for out number two. One more out, and it could be a victorious night for San Antonio, but Juan Fernandez might be kicking himself due to that throwing error. Well, I gotta say, one error ain't gonna kill you, but half a dozen may. Yeah, <laughs> you're not kidding, as we start to see the errors. Boy, and that, that really comes back and gets you if it does. Yeah, you're not kidding, John. No balls, one strike. Anthony Prado will be the last man up here for the wind surge. Here's the 1 And that's going to be right there. Done. Right to Fernandez. And that will do it. Missions take the 27th. And they will claim the first place position as Wichita will now be 21 and 30. And it is a good night for fans to cheer on for the San Antonio Missions. Well, we'll continue to give you live scores and so far for Ty Kraus, we hope one day you'll return and so far, we say goodbye to him as this night goes on. Two and a half years of being in San Antonio. He heads for Frisco. And so far, we welcome Jeff Andrews starting tomorrow night. Our final line score. First for the victorious mission. Two runs, nine hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. For the wind surge, one run, four hits, no errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Boy, we, we got a new score there in Midland, 7-2, Amarillo. Well, and the Rock Hounds now in second place. 26th loss for Midland. Amarillo will pick up 24. Boy, it is close game at Corpus Christi, three to two, as Frisco leads away in that ball game. Well, this will just about do it for our live broadcast here tonight, and so far for all of us, we'll have a safe trip home. Two to one, the final as San Antonio beats Wichita. And they take game one of our six-game series. Game two tomorrow night, 7.05, our first pitch. For all of us, have a good night. We'll see you soon.